Hi guys, this is Cycli Singh here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have come back with a new video in the Pedal with Cycli Singh series. And in today's video, we are going to explore a very famous fort around Pune known as the Sihagad Fort. Sihagad is an ancient hill fortress and it is located 49 kilometers to the southwest of Pune city. It was originally known as the Kondhana Fort and has been a site to many battles in the past. It has a great history with Tanaji Malasure, a Maratha warrior. This fort was known as the control center of the Maratha Empire. Let's talk about what are the different routes. The first route from my home, I have to go towards Shivaji Nagar, from Shivaji Nagar to Nanded city, to Khadakwasla Dam and then to Siyagad Fort. This is the normal route that I follow. The other route for people staying in Wakad, Baner and on the Bombay Bangalore Highway. You have to take the Bombay Bangalore Highway towards Chandni Chowk, go towards Warje, take the NDA road, reach Khadakwasla Dam and from there it's the same road towards Siyagad Fort. I will paste the route details of that I follow in the description box below. Along with that I will also paste the Strava link of this particular ride that I attempted. You can have a look and mark all the segments that you are interested in, highlight them so that whenever you are doing the climb, you are able to understand of how you are performing on those segments. To reach this Yagar Fort, you cross the very pretty Khadakwasla Dam Reservoir. It is a very big reservoir. One side of the reservoir is the NDA campus itself and the other side is the way that we go to the Siyagat Fort. The road ahead, it uh, diverges into two paths. One goes towards the Siyagat Fort and the other road goes towards the Panshed Dam. Let's talk about the road conditions. Road conditions for about 95% of the complete route is amazing. Now let's talk about what is the best bike that you can take for this particular route. So according to me, you can take a road bike without even thinking twice. Until now, I am taking my hybrid bike, but in a couple of days, I will start taking my road bike in these particular journeys. So there are two ways to reach to the top. One way, you can go by a bike, car or bicycle. And the other way is a trekking path. The trekking path is an amazing journey. Me and my wife Manmeet have done that recently. She has also created a YouTube video for all the people who want to approach Siyagad for trekking. So do watch the video and subscribe to her channel. Now let's talk about the best time to reach this destination. According to me, the best time to start the climb is extremely in the morning like 5.30 or 6 a.m. And by the time you reach to the top, it is sunrise. So you get amazing and spectacular views. So the total climb from the base to the top is 8.67 kilometers. The total elevation gain that you have 622 meters with an average grade of 6.5%. So for everyone who have been doing climbing practice for some time, you can challenge yourself and try to see of how your body performs when you climb Siyagad because this is the ultimate climbing experience that you can ever have. There were a couple of kilometers at a stretch where the gradient was around 11%. There were a couple of times where while pedaling, my front tire used to jump up in the air because I was applying so much of torque and the maximum gradient that I found out was around 15% at a couple of turns. I'm not trying to scare you off, but I'm just trying to explain of what to expect. What I do is I don't get overwhelmed with the complete climb. I try to approach shorter goals and try to see of how I can reach that particular goal. And it is completely fine to take short breaks in between. The ultimate goal that we have to keep in mind is to reach to the top without taking a break. The Siyagad climb really pushes you and challenges you to the extremes. So according to me, this destination falls under the pro category because the distance from my home to home is around 100 kilometers and the elevation gain is around 1000 meters. I would suggest you guys to opt for the destination once you are doing some climbing practice. While climbing, you are greeted with amazing views of the valleys and also of the city. And when you reach the top, it is the most spectacular valley view and a view of the complete horizon to a long, long distance that you can witness. I recorded a couple of videos, so just have a look, come back and we will conclude this video. Sometimes I hate the way things go I hate it when the money works Hate that I should sit all day Doing what the others say I know that's what the people do But I don't wanna follow through I wanna be my on the bus So I can follow my trickle I want to be free from lying 
be so much wrong Don't waste in time on things you hate I'm gonna drop it all at once So I can start a better life I want to be free from lying to myself That something's gonna change Sometimes I hate the way things go I hate it when the money works Hate that I should sit all day Doing what the others say I know that's what the people do But I don't wanna follow through I wanna be my only boss So I can follow magical I hope you got a glimpse of what to expect from this Yogurt Fort. So that's all from this video guys. If you like this video, please hit that like button, comment with all your love and if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to it. Until then, keep grinding. This is the Cyclist Singh signing off. I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.